God is ever willing to answer our prayers. He knows our deepest fears and our desperate needs, but He wants you to ask. God can only prove Himself in your life when you let Him. The moment you go on your knees and acknowledge His sovereignty in your life, then you've taken the first step in activating God in your life. The more you communicate with God, the more God is willing to answer your prayers. We serve a God that never fails. God honors His word more than His name. Whatever He has said, He will surely bring to pass in His own time. The love of God never ceases in our lives. His mercies are ever new every morning. The power of prayer is not just about expressing how you feel, but it's how and what you tell God. God is always ready to bless us with not just the physical and material things of this world, but also with the spiritual blessings from above. Ephesians 1 verse 3 says, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. The more you open up in prayer to God, the more God is willing to show you the great mysteries of His kingdom. For every miracle Jesus was able to perform, He spent time in prayer. Before the beginning of His ministry, He fasted and prayed for 40 days and nights. And this is why He told His disciples in Matthew 17, verse 21, Howbeit this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. If you want God to wreck great miracles through you, then you must learn to fast and pray, and seek God's face in every endeavor of your life. Prayer works hand in hand with fasting. The more you fast and pray, the more strengthened you are to carry on with God's work. Prayer helps increase your faith in Christ Jesus. The stronger your prayer life, the stronger your faith and belief in God's will. Through the power of prayer, you not only have the confidence to trust God, but develop a strong relationship with God that cannot be easily broken. This is because you take time to commune with God every day of your life. Daniel was a perfect example of a man who gave and devoted his time to prayer in God. It was one of his secret weapons, and this is why he was able to serve under the tenure of four different kings, even in captivity. He not only served, but served excellently, because he has the spirit of excellence embedded in him. Through his constant love for prayer, he was accused and promptly thrown in the den of the lions. The lions, through the prayer of God, did not harm Daniel, and this was how he was miraculously saved. Prayers help you fight your battles. When you pray, the devil trembles, and this is why before you pray or seek the face of God over anything or issues, the devil is always trying to come up with one thing or the other to distract you, because the devil knows the power you have when you pray. An example of this was when he blocked the path of an angel, Gabriel, who was bringing answers to Daniel's prayer, but was waylaid by the prince of Persia, who was an evil force and a cohort of the devil. It was only when the archangel Michael intervened and fought the prince of Persia was the angel Gabriel able to bring the answers to prayers to Daniel in a vision. Daniel 10 The devil is always going to act as a stumbling block against your prayer. The devil never relents. He tries all forms of tricks and ways to pull us down. And this is why it's important to keep the fire burning so that the enemy would not have a foothold over your life. Prayers help you know your purpose in God. It helps you find direction in your life. It is through the power of prayer you get to realize your purpose in God. Prayer helps strengthen your resolve to avoid the temptations of the enemy. The stronger your prayer life, the better you can withstand temptation. This is because God, through your prayers, has strengthened you and provided you with power that makes you neglect every form of temptation and trials. 
In the moment of trials, seek God's face in prayer. The moment you feel your prayers have been answered, learn to pray. There's no time to gloat or rest over a victory. It's usually after a major victory that the devil plans to strike. This is because the devil knows this is the period you're most vulnerable to pray less. After all, you just want a victory. Remember that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Ephesians 6 verse 12 Do you need to pray fervently and earnestly against the power of the devil? The Bible tells us to resist the devil, and he will flee away from us. The only way you can resist the devil is by obeying God's word, staying away from sin, and most importantly, praying. Through the power of prayer, all your needs are met in Christ Jesus. No matter how dim and hopeless that situation looks, God is always ready to change that situation or circumstance for the better. All God wants from you is that strong, unwavering faith in Him. Just stay patient and trust in the Lord. Just stay patient and trust in the Lord only, and He would make a way for you. Psalms 107 verse 28 says, then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he brought them out of their distress. Whatever might be your situation today, either good or bad, learn to cry to God in prayer. Worry and anxiety might plague you, but rather than worry and fret, cry to God in prayer. Fear is an illusion created by the devil to get you to not deal with God. Fear weakens you, and makes you ineffective. It's only through the power of prayer that you can truly be strengthened in the faith. So as a believer in Christ Jesus, it's important you learn to take your spiritual authority in Christ Jesus. Through prayer, God reveals his spiritual authority over your life. When you pray, you must seek God's word. The more of God's word you know, the more it helps to pray and believe in the name of God. Prayer comes in many forms. It can be intercessory, and it can be personal. Prayer must contain thanksgiving. As seen in Philippians 4 verse 6, it must be consistent, 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 17, and it must come from an humble and open heart. The Bible warns us not to be like the hypocrite, who likes to pray with big words and repeat words. Matthew 6 verse 5 says, And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray, to stand in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. So when you pray, pray with an open mind and an honest expectation. Only then can God accept your prayer and answer them. Your state and circumstances in your life and the core of your character are all determined by what you talk to God about. So pray until something happens. Pray until you receive a change. Pray so that you can hear from God. Prayer helps us align with God and brings His loving presence around us. The Holy Spirit in you helps you know what to pray for. Romans 8, verse 26.